Welcome back to Grizz Vision here on OUGrizzlies.com. My name is Neil Rule. We're here with the head men's basketball coach, Greg Campy. And coach, the schedule is released. It's a prototypical Oakland schedule, a lot of travel, a lot of league champions on the slate. Yeah, it, it, this probably is the most stupidest, uh, toughest, the stupidest, whatever. Uh, it's not. It's a tough schedule, and it's probably, um, you know, people are going to be upset because it's void of home games. And what people have to understand is who we are in the pecking order here, and we had 18 home games last year in a school with, and like us, to have 18 home games in one season is, is an amazing feat. Uh, unfortunately, you end up paying for that, and we're going to pay for it this year. Now, next year's schedule, we're going to have some really good teams at home. Um, but, you know, this coming year, we're on the road. I think we're on the road 15 or 13 of our first 16 or some number like that. Very difficult games, which we like. Um, you know, we always do that. But this this schedule is probably as hard as we've ever had as far as travel, uh, not being at home, bang, 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 you go from here. But we're going to make a lot of money on it. We're going to play some great teams. We're playing on national television, and uh, we're going to move the program forward with it. We're just going to have some upset fans because they're not going to see us play very much in uh, November and December. And obviously that game against West Virginia, that will be a game that's televised on ESPNU. We talk about it often. When you guys get the opportunity to do that, what does it do for the program? Especially you talked about it. You know where you are in the pecking order. What does that do for this program? Well, we've won our last two games that were uh, televised live on ESPNU, so hopefully uh, we'd have a chance to make that three in a row. But West Virginia's a really good team, a tough place to play. So, you know, we'll see. We'll, uh, but for the most part, anytime you can get national exposure, you take it. Um, you know, part of the deal with West Virginia in the game was that they wanted to play us on. Uh, we moved to some dates for them, and because of that, we got to get on ESPN. And, and, and so, you know, that's a, that's a good thing for us. And probably, as far as locally goes, the, the one of most local interest, Michigan State back on the schedule. You guys get to go up to Breslin to take on the Spartans and Coach Izzo. Yeah, I, that was a one-year hiatus, and it just the way the schedules fall, you know, that things happen, and you, you know, but we're going to play them. Hopefully we're going to continue to play them for a long time. We're very close to signing a pretty long-term deal. We haven't signed it yet, but we verbally agreed on some stuff. Um, we'll get that thing signed, and we'll get them back in the palace and, uh, you know, keep that keep that momentum going from that series because that's a great thing for Oakland. I think it's a great thing for Michigan State, too. We're a good RPI game for a team like that. Uh, they get to come down and play in the palace. Um, big crowds there and uh, excitement and those types of things. So, you know, we're, we're pretty excited about uh, about that series beginning again. And when you even look at some of the smaller programs on the schedule, Valpo, Ohio, I mean, you're talking about conference champions uh, in that list as well. So it certainly there are really no breaks, especially in the pre-conference going. No, I mean, we don't play a Division One home game until this 20 or the 16th or 17th of December, um, we, you know, is when we play our first home Division One game. So that... That in itself is it's tough. I mean, it's going to, those two months are going to be tough, and then we jump right into the league. And in the league, we've got to go to Western Illinois and and uh, IUPUI and on the road right after Christmas. And you know, we haven't won an IUPUI even with all the great success we've had and the great teams we've had. You know, we went uh, two years. We went forty and two in the conference play over a two-year period, and both losses were at IUPUI. So, you know, to jump right out of the gate and in the schedule and have to go there, that's, that's going to be tough. All right, Coach, we appreciate the time. As always, we'll catch back up with you down the road. All right, Neil. But people have to understand that, you know, this is going to come around. It's a circular thing. And the following year, you know, we're going to have – we've got some really good home games. All right, Coach, thank you as always. Yeah.